But uh, it seemed like tonight that you guys were kind of, I don't want to say trap game, is, it's the third game of the year, but it, it didn't have the same emotional kind of game as, as a home opener season over. Do you feel like you guys kind of stayed with attention to detail and still accomplished the things you guys were trying to accomplish? Yeah, for the most part, I thought we did. I thought we were sloppy with the ball, myself in particular. Sloppy with the ball uh, early on. Um, I think we did what we wanted to do towards the end of the second, or the first half. You know, created a lead, playing good basketball. Second half, we came out and were sloppy, but then we picked it back up. So that's that's a good thing. I mean, you can't always be perfect for 48 minutes. Um, but, you know, the, the slippage and then picking that up afterwards is, is always promising. Blake, you and DJ connected on a string of highlight plays there in, in the fourth quarter. Now that you, this is what, your, your seventh season actually being able to play together. How would you assess the chemistry that the two of you guys have built over the years and, and sort of where that's at right now? Uh, I'd say it's pretty strong. I think, like you said, seven seven seasons playing together is a long time. And you know, DJ makes the game easy because he can pretty much throw the ball anywhere and he's gonna, gonna be able to catch it. So um, I think it, it, it's more, it speaks more to just our whole offense in general, being pretty familiar with everybody. You know, you know what, what the CP's, kind of know what CP's gonna do, where he's gonna do it. JJ, you know where he's going to be, you know what he likes to do, you know where DJ likes to be, like where he's going to go, where he likes to catch the ball. It's just being familiar with everybody that makes all that stuff work so well. You kind of talk about the, the slippage and then picking it back up and slipping and picking it back. Is that, is that growth for you guys that you are able to kind of sustain this and when there might be these offensive stretches where it's not going, you're still finding a way to kind of separate yourself? Yeah, I think so. Like, like I said, you, you would love to be perfect for the entire game, but it's just not realistic. Not, not every game, not over the course of 18 games. So to come out a little flat in the second half is, is not what we wanted, but then you know, pick it back up and build that lead back to, I think, what it was before we the starters came out at the end of the third is promising. And I think it does show a little bit of growth, um, but we need to take it a step further than that and not even let that get to it. But like I said, you know, hoping for a perfect game is a little, a little foolish. Like what's made this group more consistent defensively? I think trust has been a big point of emphasis for us in, in talking, just eliminating some small, stupid mistakes by, by communicating a little bit more uh, in practice. I think that's been our main focus in every every single practice, and both units really defensively. Like, I think we play some, some really good basketball. We've been communicating, we've been playing for each other. Everybody just kind of has a has a pretty good trust. So, I think uh, I think that's been the key for us taking that next step defensively, but still you know, have to have to make some adjustments and be better in certain areas, but it's a good start. Like you guys will play four games this week already to start the season. Have you thought much about how does it affect you guys in the past versus just being in a new season, how you can kind of get through this better? Yeah, I mean, you know, to have a five and seven in your first true week is, uh, is tough, but you know, you can kind of look at it one or two ways. You get it out of the way early. Um, you can you can use it as practice or use it as a test, you know, to see kind of where you're at and, and how you handle those games. Um, you know, good thing is the first three of that five and seven are at home. So taking care of business and, and using that to our advantage, getting some rest is, is important. And then going on the road and, you know, taking care of business there too. I think it's, uh, you know, playing on the road, I think uh, as a team, for the most part, we, we enjoy playing on the road and embrace it. But we, we have had some slippage early on you know, on the road and, and kind of found our group later in the season. But, you know, this has been a kind of a, a different start for us already. So we'll see. Good one. Blake, I know that there was no, look ahead to, to Wednesday's game, I know there was no Thunder team in Oklahoma City when you were growing up. But it, when you go against, the team that now plays in your hometown, is there ever anything extra for you beyond just trying to get a win for your team? Um, you know, when you go home and play, it's, it's cool because your friends and family are there, people you grew up with. Um, they're all huge Thunder fans now. Uh, <laughs> that's that's cool, but you know, I, it, you know, I can't say that it's like a extra, something extra to the game. Um, they're a great team, so it's it's always it's always fun fun matchup. They, they look different this year, but still, you, know, you see what Russ is doing, and you see that they have guys that are very capable. So, um, I think for that that part, you know, you, you look you look forward to a game like that. You, you 
mentioned Russ. Did you kind of have the same thought as everybody else when KD leaves? That's like, oh my, like he's gonna he's gonna play at this like crazy insane level. Like that you saw at times last year. Was that kind of did that flash in your mind at all? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he's he's a unbelievable player. I mean, just the, the impact he has on the game from so many different areas. I mean, just the pressure he puts on defenses, just alone, you know, is is it's crazy. So yeah, I mean, you kind of know that's just his personality to just just go and, and destroy and, and try to take over. But you know, it'll be a fun fun challenge.